are live. We're just a couple minutes early. I'm going to turn my camera down just a hair so you guys can see more of the table. How is everybody doing today? I see Rose is already here. Hello, how are you? So today's live, I decided to do um, a sugar scrub because it's super cold. It's been a while since we've done sugar scrubs. And I feel like sugar scrubs are really, really good for the winter. And they're kind of underrated. I stick my jar in the shower with me and I absolutely love it um, after I shave. Um, anything like that. I always use my sugar scrub. Hello, how are you? So, yeah. Anyways, um, I wanted to do sugar scrubs today with you guys. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the new formula that we did last time because I really, really like it. And I'm making this for myself. Hi, Maria. How are you? So we carry these um, eight ounce jars here at Be Scented with the lid, if that's something you're interested in for your sugar scrubs. What we're gonna do first, I need to get my butter melted. Hi Rose, where is my recipe? Where'd my recipe go? It's right here. It's right here. I've got it. Okay, so I'm just going to do an 8-ounce simple recipe. I think I put the bigger recipe in the description of the video. That way you guys, you know, of course can make more. But I'm just going to do a small 8-ounce uh, recipe. And when I say 8 ounces, that means it's 8 ounces of liquids. Um, it's actually going to make several jars. So that's what I'm going to do. Hi Vic, how are you? All right, so for the butters, uh, I decided to just do mango butter. I'm going to get some gloves. And the butters that you use can be like, you can, uh, it can be any kind of butter you want. I'm using mango butter. It's a semi-hard butter. It's not super hard like cocoa butter. But it's not super soft. Hi, how are you? Is this Facebook user? Let me go find where you are. So I can um, know who is saying hello. I know Dawn is unavailable today to hang out. She is uh, going on a cruise. So yay for Dawn. Okay, so it's Teresa and Bobby. Hello, you guys. How are you? Yes, guys, totally hit that like button. Hi, Carol, how are you? Hi from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. How are you doing? It says Mountain Life Soaps. All right, so I got my gloves on. So I'm going to turn my scale on. I'm going to be working in ounces. You can, of course, do this recipe in grams um, if you would like. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Hi from San Francisco and Missouri. Goodness. All over, you guys. Budapest. Hello, hello. All right. So I'm going to get my mango butter measured out. So for my very small recipe... I need 1.44 ounces of butter. That's one ounce. Carol, I'm glad you are too. I'm glad to see any of you guys. I'm just using my hands because I have gloves on. We're at 1.3. This the rest of my um, mango butter in here needs to be broken up. I think I have enough. Um, yeah, I know I do. Broken up in here. So it says 1.44, but I my scale is not going to do 0.44. So I'm going to do 1.45 ounces. Hello, top notch. How are you? Hello, 
is that Lam Lamrus? Is that how you say that? South Florida. Damaris, hello. All the way from South Florida. Where out in South Florida are you located? New Hampshire. Hello. I love knowing where everybody's at. I'm going to pop this in the microwave for a couple of minutes and it should be melted. I'll be right back. All right. Boward County in Florida. Broward County. I said that wrong. We, we are lovers of Florida, so hello, hello. How's the temperature where you are? Alabama. Carol, hello. I like where you're at, too. Okay, so in here, I am going to start with um, my steric acid. No, I'm going to start with my um, sugar in here. I have this big bag that I put down into another bag because I cut the top of it because it was really, really big. And when I get my butters out of the microwave, I need to add in my other hard oils. Like, you can do this all in the microwave, guys. You don't have to have double boilers and things of that nature. It can be done in the microwave. So I need just 11 ounces of sugar. So what I do with my recipe, I use about 140% sugar to the recipe. Uh, you can use anywhere from 100 to 200% sugar, depending on how loose or how thick you want your sugar scrub. Uh, this is an emulsified scrub that I'm making. So it will turn the oils and butters that we're going to use into a lotion. That's why I love this sugar scrub for the winter time because when you use it on your skin, you're scrubbing, you're getting rid of the dead skin cells and all of that. And then it's gonna turn into a lotion when it comes into contact with water. And it's gonna be like you put on lotion, you scrubbed, you have done exfoliated, and then you've, it feels like you've put on lotion as well which is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get my butter. We're going to add the other hard things into it, and then we're going to get it back in the microwave. I'm going to check on your all's comments here. Um, thank you so much. I feel fantastic. Georgia. I love Georgia. We love it when we go to Florida and we drive through, Flor through Georgia. It's amazing. You get through there so quickly, though. 79 in South Florida. You are so lucky. It is like 20 degrees here. <laughs> Julie's in Georgia. That's fantastic. Your high, Bobby said it's going to be 75. You love this recipe? Yes. Me too, Leona. I absolutely love this recipe. It's fantastic. Hands down, something that you definitely want to use in the wintertime. Have I added the Detox Max to my website? Um, I have not. Vic, are you wanting to purchase uh, what I made, the powder? Are you wanting to purchase it? If so, I can list that. Thank you, Leona. We are located in Southwest Virginia. Okay. So I'm going to add my other hard lick, uh, oils in here, butters, you know, okay. So I said butters. Butters are in here. We're going to add the e-wax, the steric acid, and the beeswax. And I need 0.15 of each. So this recipe... Um, we have cut down on the amount of hard oils and butters and waxes to make it more soft, more pliable when you use it. 
Oh, Debbie, you're coming to West Virginia. That's not far from... Uh, West Virginia is just right there. Just right there. Okay. And a 0.32 ounces of steric acid. I'm going to use my little spoon for this because it's very small flakes. And I don't want to over measure because steric acid is a thickener and hardener. So I do not want to um, over measure for the steric acid. Delisa says she was born and raised in West Virginia. Okay, so now my emulsifying wax, I'm going to use 0.8 ounces. I'm also going to use my spoon. And then we're just going to pop this back in the microwave for a couple of minutes. It's going to take some time doing it this way. It does go a little bit faster when you work with a double boiler. But I wanted to show you guys how easy this is to quickly make it not using uh, a double boiler or anything like that. So we have added in here our emulsifying wax. I'm using a soft and silky emulsifying wax I'm using steric acid and beeswax so we've got those hard items in with our butters which i just used mango butter like i said you can use any combination of butters that you would like all right so i'm going to pop this back in the microwave Now that may take upwards to five minutes or so, you know, just keep checking on it every one to two minutes. So in here, now I'm going to add my sugar and I'm just using regular pure grain granulated sugar that you can get at the grocery store. I'm going to use 11 ounces. Yes, you totally can master batch this. Yes, you can get all of your um, liquid items measured out. My sugar is in a clump in here. Just breaking it up. We're almost there. I just keep this old uh, cup down in my bag. And now I'm just going to use my gloved hands to break up my sugar. Because I don't want any clumps in here. You can run it through a sifter if you would like. I'm just trying to show how DIY easy this is. And it's such an amazing recipe that you guys can do at home. Something you can add to your uh, product line that you do not have to wait for curing. Anything like that. If you have a show coming up and you're like, I don't know what to make. I need something to fill my table. You know, you can easily easily use this um i took this to a show last year and i took one of my jars with my business card with the location of my booth written on my business card i took this to the bathroom and put it by the sink you guys i sold out of my sugar scrubs sold out If you have the opportunity to be able to put their scrub in a restroom, do it 100%, you guys. 100%. I 
as you can see, there's some solids down in here, but I'm going to get a little spatula, a small one. This one's too big that I have here. I'm going to mix it and see if it melts. A lot of times there's enough residual heat in here to finish melting and then if it's not then I'll just pop it back in the microwave hi uh, how do I say your name is it Takia is that how you say your name I don't want to say it incorrectly you let me know Laura is coming in from Ohio. How's the weather there? So I said your name right. Yay. That's awesome. I try my best. Okay. So it did not all melt. So I'm going to pop it back in the microwave for probably like one more minute. And then it should be good to go. It's always the beeswax that takes the longest to melt. So now you can color this, you guys, with mica if you would like. Hello, True North. How are you? So I'm going to scent mine uh, in Bora Bora. Smells fantastic, you guys. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. Oh, so yummy. Um, should I color it or should I leave it white? It's going to be an off-white if I don't color it. It's cold. It's so cold here, too. It really is. I don't know the exact temperature right now. Let's see. Ooh, we are at 32 degrees. I have not made it with raw cane sugar, but I don't see why you couldn't. Color? What color should we do? What color? Bora Bora, I'll get you the scent description. Give me just a second. It's easier for me to get the scent description description for you because I'm terrible at um, like explaining how something smells. Okay. I just know it smells fantastic. It really is a really pretty fragrance. It has a five-star reviews on our website, you guys. Uh, it's a blend of pineapple, acai berry, mango, passion fruit, yuzu, green apples, and orchids. Um, you could actually, if you have a home blender... Um, like a coffee grinder, uh, you could run it through a coffee grinder if you wanted your regular sugar and make it super fine. We got green, blue, coral, peach. Let's see. Looking at my colors. I think let's go with the orangey kind of color. Oh yeah, you like this is a fantastic fragrance. It has it has a tiny bit of vanillin, like 0.37, but it's very minimal. 
Carol, yes, the recipe should already be posted in the description. And since you're on YouTube, um, you should be able to access the recipe. Yeah. So I'm going to take just a teeny bit with this spoon. Maybe I can't get that spoon in there. I'm just going to, I'm putting a tiny bit in here, you guys. I'll see if I like that color. All right, so we have the powder in here. My color is in, or not the powder, the sugar's in there. My color, uh, this is melted. Now I'm going to add in my fragrance and my liquid oil portion. So just a tiny bit. Okay, got it. So that was Bora Bora Fragrance. Now I'm going to add in my liquid oil portion. I'm going to do my preservative last. So uh, my liquid portion, I'm going to use avocado oil and jojoba oil. So I need a total of 5.1 ounces. So I'm kind of going to split it in half. We're going to do like two let's see 2.55 there we go of avocado oil and then i'm going to do the same on the jojoba oil now the liquid oil portion that you use can be to any any combination of oils that you want to use we go it can be rice bran oil it can be grapeseed oil um i'm doing the avocado oil any combination so this kind of get this will kind of get a little jelly like almost uh because you're adding and you're cooling down the hard oils and liquid that's already in here. So it may get a little jelly-like on you. And that is okay. Now that I've added some other oils in here. And it's cooled this down to where it's not super hot. Now I'm safe to add my preservative. Because preservatives are heat sensitive. You don't want to add them when it's super hot. Uh, Diane, you can, are you, are you needing, um, be scented help or personal help from me? If you're needing something on be scented, you can, uh, you can just click the contact page. Like when you are on the front of the website, it ha down in the bottom corner, we'll have a little like person, like a little pop-up that you can contact us. And you can do that, and it will go directly to us. More than likely, I will see it and respond within just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm going to review, since I've been talking a whole lot, I'm going to review myself and make sure I'm not missing anything in my recipe that I've got together here. So I had my mango butter in here. I have put my liquid oils in here. I have my emulsifying wax in here. I have my steric acid in here. I have my beeswax in here. My fragrance and my preservative as well is all in this jar. I have my 11 ounces of sugar in here and now I'm ready to combine. Yes, the preservatives, yes. You need to be careful. Okay, just hit that contact Make sure you're logged in to your account, Diane, on the website. Um, make sure you're logged in. Then click the contact down in the corner, and it will send us a message. As long as you're logged in, you will get notification 
uh, when we respond, but I will respond within a few minutes or, you know, immediately when I get off the live. Now, I just wanted to show you guys, this is kind of jelly. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of hard, hard products in here and it kind of gets jelly like that's normal. So I'm going to add all of this to my sugar and we're going to stir this really, really good. Now, at first, this is going to be a very fluid recipe at first, but this is going to set up, it's going to firm up, but it will still say, still say, stay fairly soft and easy to use. Laura, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So you will see as I pour this in here, like I said, I'm making this for myself and for my sister-in-law. She loves the scrubs too. So I'm going to gently, 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 this should make me two good sized jars. I got extra jars just in case, but I just wanted to make a small recipe just for myself and just to show you guys how wonderful and easy this is to make. Yeah, two nice jars. I spilled a little bit on my table. That's okay. One for me, one for my sister-in-law. I'm just scraping and getting it all out. And where this recipe is emulsified you guys it is going to turn into a wonderful wonderful lotion as the customer is using it in like the shower look how pretty two nice jars and i can weigh them there's always more product in here than what the jar will hold because you know sugar is heavy it won't let you log in okay i can help you send me the chat in the chat send me your email and i will um reset your password for you diane i'll help you okay so i'm just weighing this jar so i can see how much product is in here so that's 9.3 ounces. That's 9.3 ounces. I could not have divided that off any better, you guys. So when I would sell this, I probably would put 9 ounces on the label. I have a little bit of granulated sugar on my table. So yeah. So then, I mean, it's ready to go, you guys. It's done. That simple. And this is fantastic for the winter time. Absolutely fantastic. I can't rave enough on how wonderful this product is for the winter. Uh, Carol, I always say a year, one year from the time you make it. It will last a long time. And I, okay, so technically you don't need a preservative because there's no water in here, technically. But my thinking is, I'm adding a preservative because this product is coming into contact with water. So, 
you're you're all wet. You're in the shower. You've washed. You've shaved. You've done all the necessary things. You get your sugar scrub. You're wet. Your hands are wet, and you scoop out some, and you're using it. You scoop out more. Your wet hands are going into this product and leaving water in here. Without a preservative, there's nothing to stop that water from creating mold and bacteria. So that is why I use a preservative. Um, I use Germal as the, the preservative that I used. Can we do a body oil? You know what? That's a great idea. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to uh, write that down. I'm going to write that down for a future live. Because that is things that we have here. We have spray bottles. We have all the different oils. That's a great one right there. Thank you for that idea. The jars you can get here at Be Scented. You can, these are the eight ounce uh, jars that we have listed that will, you know, fit um, two ounce of mica. This is the eight ounce jar. We, we sell these. Yeah, this is fantastic. It's a, and it will set up firm. It will set up, but it will still easily be scoopable. You want to see a body oil? I, that's something I def, definitely can work on. I'll do some research. I'll see how quickly I can get it together. Um, see if I can get it together for next week's live. You know, we'll see. But this week, you know, I wanted to go back on something that we've done in the past. But I feel like I don't see a lot posted about it. I don't see a lot of people post about sugar scrubs when I, you know, so I feel like they're kind of underrated. They're absolutely fantastic product. Body souffle. These are plastic. These are plastic. Like, I don't know if you can see, I can squish it in. So a body souffle, in my opinion, is like a whipped lotion. Is that what you guys think of when you think of a souffle? It was Germal Plus. And you know, that's a great idea to take our normal like winter lotion that gets thick and once it's set and once it's done and whip it and see what happens. We also could do a foaming sugar scrub with the foaming bath whip. Julie, we already have a really, really upscale um, face cream. We did that. And it's fantastic. I, I had a couple of ladies test it for me that have never used my products before. And they absolutely loved it. So I'm going to... Um, Julie, not Julie, yes, I think, hold on, let me make sure, Diane, nope, not Diane, yeah, Diane, I'm going to log in to the chat, that way, even if you send it to me as a guest, um, I can help you. So just send me, I don't have a chat yet, so send me a chat on the front of the website. Yeah, we can totally do a foaming scrub. Scrubs are great for the winter time. Yeah, yes. See, and foaming bath loop is one of the products we carry. So we can definitely formulate um, like a foaming scrub that you could use. And that would be, you guys, that would be great for, like, mechanics, too. The foaming scrub, because, you know, it bubbles. That would be great. Hi, how are you? Kingdom Soapery. But, you guys, like, I made this, what I consider a sample recipe in, like, 20 minutes. We, we put this together in, like, 20 minutes. 
when all said and done. You know, we've been live for 30 some minutes, but some of that's talking, not working. <laughs> But yeah, Diane, I have the chat open and ready. So as soon as you send me a message, I am happy to help you. Loves foaming scrub. Yes, that's something that's totally you could do for the bath for the kids. And yeah, we can do that. So I have three ideas already. A, balmy, a body oil, a body souffle. Uh, what do you mean, Vic? What's your... Um, Yes, Julie, yes, yes, they would. Damaris, you're welcome. I appreciate all of you guys that hop in and join the live. I really, really do. You're welcome, Carol. All right, so we've got live ideas for the next several. Um, if I don't get the body oiled together by next week, we'll do one of the other ones. So Kingdom Soapery, my idea on with a body souffle is like a whipped lotion. That is what I would think of when I think of a souffle. Something light, fluffy, airy. Is that what you guys think of? Julie, thank you. Laura, you're very welcome. I love doing this. Um, I do. I love sharing recipes with you guys. I love, um, you know, giving you guys ideas on products to make. Um, and then, you know, it, it. you come to us for the supplies. So that's what... That's what, that's our main goal. Yes. Okay. So that's what I think of when I think of a souffle. And I'm wondering if we just can't take our winter lotion that we have. And then once it's set and cooled and done, of course, you know, like I would make it the day in advance and then whip it and see what happens. If anybody else wants to try it, you're welcome to do that and let me know. Um, I don't know how it would react, you know, after several days of sitting, like if it would deflate or um, if it would continue to stay uh, whipped, per se. Because I know the same thing happens with um, when you do uh, a whipped body butter that is just butters, that there's no emulsifier. Um, they can deflate as well. You miss our videos. We try to, well, we do our weekly lives, which makes products. We make products. Um, I just haven't, uh, I haven't been soaping a whole lot because, you know, I just concentrate on my time on Be Scented. So I don't have any videos to go out other than our weekly live. Now, we do go live every single Thursday and make products. We either make products or we're packaging something. Okay, guys. So, I guess that's going to be it for this week's live. Um, I'm going to work on the body oil and then uh, a foaming scrub as well. I know I have one foaming scrub recipe. I'm just wondering if I want to change it up, you know, something new. Yeah, you definitely, Damaris, that's a really good idea. Thank you so much. Kingdom Soapery, I'm not sure. what What is your name? You can tell me your first name. You don't have to tell me your whole name. I appreciate everybody that orders from us. I really, really do. This week, um, we have our weekly sale going on. So, guys, don't forget that. That's always posted on the front of the website. And one of the big questions we get is what are our top selling fragrances? And um, that's always on the front of the website too. And that is always updated every single month. Sarah, okay, yes, I know that name. Yes. I, I recognize your name. Thank you so much. 
Thank you guys. I appreciate all of you guys for being here. And I will see all of you guys next week. If you guys make these sugar scrubs, please take pictures and post them in the Be Scented group. There's 11,000 people in there. I would love for you guys to show the products that you make. We want to see it. Tag us on social media. Post it on, on our Facebook group. Let other people see the amazing products. And then uh, you can tell them where you got the recipe. Thank you guys all so much.